First, I'd like to say that my wife is a 10-year survivor. She had a very difficult breast cancer, but both Centera and Chesapeake Regional together helped with everything, and she is with us today because of both facilities. So there's no lack of respect for either facilities. My difficulty with tonight is that we keep hearing about increased diagnostic access and to meet the needs. And Ms. Shea, if you could put up the first one. As a councilman elected for the entire city of Chesapeake, I'm acutely aware of what is lacking in the city of Chesapeake. This first graph, which is hard to see, shows that African-American women have two times the death rate of breast cancer in the city of Chesapeake. Put the next one up, please. This is a, a study by Chesapeake City of the Health. And this one, I believe, shows, this one shows the, um, the lack of health insurance and where the most uninsured are in the city. And just by the circles, you can see it's in the northern part of our city, South Norfolk, Indian River, Deep Creek. Put the next one up, please. This is the public transportation. The public transportation stops at around Chesapeake Regional. There is no public transportation south for anyone. Next one. This is mammography services, or the lack of mammography diagnostic services in the city of Chesapeake, or the percent of women who've had mammographies. And that gr is greatest in the northern part of our city. I do not have one that I usually have, and that is the incident of breast cancer. And that top part is dark, meaning it's dark because it's the most prevalent. Yet we continue with our discussion of medical facilities in the Hickory area. The Hickory area has the most people that are insured. It has the lowest minority population. And yet we're sitting here discussing more and more facilities on both sides of this. I did also have a discussion with the city manager and I said I would like to see the city manager and the health department of Chesapeake sit down with both Centera and Chesapeake Regional and the health department and find a solution for our part of our city that is desperately in need of these services. Ms. Blount, when you say increase diagnostic access and meet the needs, this is where the needs are. And our comprehensive plan says to us that our responsibility as council people are medical care for all of our citizens. I'm not saying tonight that this is anything more than the fact that we need to look at facilities for these services that aren't replications and duplications. Chesapeake Regional has one five miles away. Centera has the same facility in Greenbrier. Why are we not talking about facilities in Deep Creek, Indian River, South Norfolk, where the access and the need is greatest? So I would respectfully say I want to amend it to 60 days because I think it's going to take more of a discussion than just, oh, by the way, we want to come to some type of agreement. I think the discussion really near, seriously needs to be, we need these services in the part of the city that needs them the greatest, and we need to come to determination how these entities, while they are competitive, they are both nonprofit. They are not for-profit entities. And we should be doing the best for all the citizens of Chesapeake and not just going where the need is not the greatest. So respectfully, I would ask to